Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling a question that many IntelliJ users might find familiar. Our viewer is trying to utilize the Settings Repository feature in IntelliJ 2017-1, but they want to use an SSH URL for their repository instead of HTTPS. They express frustration with personal access tokens, which can be cumbersome to manage. However, when attempting to override local settings, they encounter an error message stating, failed to set up stream repository read-only file system. So the big question is, are they forced to use HTTPS or is there a way to configure it to work with SSH? Let's dive in and explore this issue together. Welcome back to another technical video. Today we're going to be going through your question, answering it and hopefully finding that solution you need. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy, just like me, and hopefully you get through that resolution. So, let's continue on. To use the settings repository feature in IntelliJ with SSH authentication, you first need to ensure that your SSH key is correctly set up and recognized by Git. Next, let's configure your Git settings to use the SSH URL for your repository. You can do this by modifying the remote URL in your local Git configuration. Now let's return to IntelliJ. When you click on Override Local, ensure that the repository path is correctly set to the SSH URL you just configured. If you encounter the read-only file system error, it may indicate permission issues. Make sure you have write access to the directory where your repository is located. Finally, if everything is set up correctly, you should be able to use the SSH URL without any issues. Test your configuration by pushing changes to the repository. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. The IntelliJ Settings Repository works with SSH keys. Make sure to use the correct URL format for your repository. If your SSH keys have different names, update the .ssh config file accordingly. If you encounter errors, it may be due to the IDE not being able to overwrite local config files. Check the IDE logs for more details. And that's it guys. I hope this video helped answer your question and you found that answer that you're looking for. Now, please hit subscribe for the help. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you next time on another one of these videos. Cheers.